anxiety started up, I ended up pulling it off my head and it took a piece of chunk out. It's not that bad. It's like right here. <laughs> yeah, I said, oh no, I'm not messing with you. I'll be walking around here with no edges, looking like a two-way street. No, mm -mm. I told that my daughter called, my oldest daughter called and that she told me to use the product. And Nadine was like, Ma, I told you not to use the product. I said, okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit. Nadine said, okay, okay. So the outfit's in the shower, y'all. I put the product all in my hair. Uh, I'm thinking it's deep conditioned. My hair laid down so good. I was like, oh my God, this is nice. My hair ain't never laid down so good. My hair get really curly and you can feel the curls even in the water, you know. And, and it laid down like it was great. And I was like, oh my God, my hair ain't never laid down like this. This stuff is good. Girl, child, next thing you know, my hair was running down my back, running down my legs. And you know it feel creepy when your hair start coming out and running down through the water. I'm looking down, I'm seeing all my hair just flowing down to the sink and gloss. Hi, Spirit Lights. Hey, y'all. I'm on my way to Baskin and Robbins. So, let me tell y'all where I'm at real quick. So, I just want to keep y'all updated because I know, like, my life is a, a life journey. And y'all on this journey with me. And that's for my spirit of lights. <laughs> Exclude you, salty butter. Yes. <laughs> we got a salty butter who doesn't like the fact that I share my life with my spirit of lights. And that I talk about my experiences. And doesn't like the fact that I do ASMR plus vlog plus talk about my life. They just complain about everything about me. So, uh... Don't worry, salty butty. I, I oh, salty butty. <laughs> oh Lord, salty, salty butter. I heard block and deleted your tail. Bye, honey. Bye. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All or nice. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. It's <laughs> gonna be rough. Oh, on us, we're, we're gonna, gonna make it. it. They look good. Good morning, spare the lights. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, early on, y'all. I just got to taking my shower. Nadine's taking hers, and um, she's getting ready to experiment with ice cream. Um, she came very close to it yesterday. She made like a, a peach. Um, I want to say smoothie, but the first one was more like ice cream, and then she diluted it, and it became like a smoothie, but it was so good. We started talking about it, and she said today she's going to experiment with vanilla ice cream, not to get my hopes up or anything like that, but she's going to see what she can do, and then what she'll need to be able to make it better, and then we decided that when we go um, searching uh, for a new machine soon. We're going to try to get an ice cream machine so that we can be experimenting making our own ice cream. This morning I got up and I just felt like sore. I think I was sore because I did so much yesterday. I was felt so good and so motivated to just be moving around doing a whole lot that I woke up kind of sore today so I'm going to try to take it a little bit easy. There was a lot of stuff that I wanted to do today like organize um, my studio, straighten up some things. But I woke up this morning like, eh, girl, you in the house for a while. You, you, can, you can do something else if you like. So I decided I'm going to experiment with the peach cobbler. I did look it up, and, and most people make the peach cobbler from scratch like I make my yams. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Nadine recently bought some gluten-free flour. I'll show it to you again, but I did show it in the last vlog. And uh, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited about it. Not, not, not that excited, but excited enough to at least try to make my own gluten-free um, gluten peach cobbler. And then that kind of flowed out. I want to say my own peach cobbler, but then the gluten flea just flowed right out of my mouth. So that must be exactly what it's going to be. And I'm going to be using coconut sugar because Nadine bought coconut sugar instead of, you know, um, the regular sugar. I'm going to be using that. She bought nutmeg and she bought cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead in the kitchen, try to whip me up a nice,
peach cobbler and that's what I'm going to eat slash breakfast slash lunch because that's what I want. Um, my stomach was growling last night like crazy. Uh, I had a hamburger, fries, and eggplant earlier, but I had it uh, early dinner and I didn't eat anything else. The only thing I had was the peach drink, refreshing, delicious, almost ice cream drink that my daughter made. Um, uh, it was so good. It was so, so good, you know. Uh, it was definitely organic. Um, she used all natural ingredients plus the peaches. It was it was so good. That's all I had. I felt so satisfying, but then I woke up like starving, you know, but not eager to rush and eat anything. I might do a banana because I'm looking at it. I feel like if I eat a banana, it'll take off the hunger pains. I don't know why it's so easy for me to like literally... Uh, I can feel myself hungry and I don't do anything about it. I just rather wait until I'm gonna enjoy my food. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta stop doing that because I'm definitely getting older and when I don't eat, I get weaker. <laughs> but I just want to say good morning. Good morning, spirits of lights. Hey, and good morning to everybody who absolutely loved the vlogs. I was reading the comments and I got so many comments of so many people who were just so excited that I put up a vlog and that just makes me feel like wow yeah okay so I'm inspired to try to vlog a little bit more than usual than I normally do um, being in the house uh, the stay at home thing and with things uh, progressing the way it is uh, gives me a chance to get used to try to turn on a camera pick up the camera just talking or vlogging something or just saying hi you know so i'm excited about that my plant i'm looking at my poor plant y'all i showed they did yesterday they decayed she was like mom what are you doing what you smiling about i said lily she said lily she said what about lily i said lily's still alive she said what lily's still alive y'all i bought lily in 2019 <laughs> i bought her in 2019 uh right before uh, the Christmas holiday, y'all. She's still alive. And I told Nadine she's hanging on. And I try to give her water once a week because I noticed that she doesn't need a lot of water. Her pot stays damp. But I'm going to look for a new uh, pot because I know I got one around here. A basket or something. And I'm going to replant her. I'll give her a new home so she can feel better. And I feel like she's been like leaning over because there haven't been no sun. And she's trying to get just a little bit of sun. The sun's not really beaming like it should. So Nadine said, well, where's Lily? I said, she right there. She said, where? I said, right there. Uh, I got her by the window trying to get some. Nadine fell out. She said, Mom, you sure she alive? I said, yeah, she's still alive. And let me show y'all Lily. <laughs> Okay, so you see Lily? Look at her. She, she's still hanging in there. I took her leaf and I lift her up towards the fairy because I didn't want her to feel like she's just flipping over. But when Nadine see her, she was just hanging all the way over uh, to the right like the other leaves. And Nadine was like, Mom, you sure she's alive? I said, yeah, she's alive. I know she is. See, I still got her in a pot that I bought her in in 2019. And she's still hanging in there. And I told Nadine, I believe that, you know, her leaves might not be all that great, but she's still there. Yeah, I know she's not like in the best condition, but I feel like she's a plant. And, you know, plants go through things through the seasons. And she lost her lilies and a lot of her leaves are gone, but I feel like she's still hanging in there. So I'm just going to keep watering her and um, I'm going to put, I bought some plant soil, um, some seeded soil. So I'm going to put her in a new pot and see what I can do with her. <laughs> my Nadine is crazy. She fell out. She said, oh my God, mom. She said, but I can't believe you still have her. I sure do. Yes, I don't give up on stuff easy. I sure don't. So now I'm giving to go take my uh, iron, my B complex, drink me some water, um, and get started on this peach cobbler. And... I'm going to sit down and do an ASMR video if it come out right. If you don't see an ASMR video with homemade gluten-free peach cobbler, it didn't come out right. And that's okay. I'll try it again another time. But I'm definitely going to try it. And in the house and not being able to run around to the stores or 
get everything we need right now. It's just better. It's safer to stay in the house right now. Rather it come out good or not, I'm going to show you what it look like when I'm finished. <laughs> and thank you for the spirit of life who left me a tip. She told me everything I needed, and then I got peach cobbler. She even told me how to do it the easy way. I do have some ready-made pie dough in here that I can just put the peach cobbler in, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and make my own peach cobbler from scratch and just see what happens. Hey, I feel I feel really good about things. Uh, the, the peach cobbler is looking so good in the pot. Uh, I'm doing little tiny tastes and it's tasting good. And Nadine was like, oh my God, we're smelling good over there. I said, it's the peach cobbler. I've been, I, I've been boiling the peaches since you've been in the shower. And I just added the sugar, the nutmeg. Uh, some butter and some cinnamon and I'm just simmering it down getting it all gooey and everything and they didn't say oh my god said, don't let me find out you about to start baking <laughs> she said you, you, it smelled like a whole grandma in there oh my god me and Nadine literally was just so happy we were so freaking happy screaming up and down happy we were just jumping up and down like hitting each other hand like <laughs> you did it you did it you did it my heartbreak about this freaking peach cobbler i couldn't really enjoy it as much as i wanted to i went to bed really really sad um nadine she was like mom it'll be all right when she went to go cut it she was like um mom and i said yeah she said well it's all dough and it's like rubbery you can't even barely cut it and the peach cobble is horrible i think i'm dramatized right now the, the the bread didn't even soak up the butter or anything that i had put in it the butter separated <sighs> just all this good sugar and butter and peaches gone to waste you know what I mean? it might actually be good <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah it, oh I still haven't heard from Dream. We texted him for two days. I'm waiting for him to text me back. I don't know what's going. I think I know he's working. He's busy and everything. But I just hope he texts me back. Say, hey, mom, I'm okay. I hope I ain't got to leave this house, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I hope I don't have to leave this house and go knock on his door. Now, last time he didn't contact me. He 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 must have saw the vlog. He contacted me. He's like, hey, mom, we talked. We talked the other night. I told y'all we had a long conversation. But after that conversation, I haven't heard nothing from him. So I just want to know. That he's doing good he's okay yeah so let me give me some cold water and get started on this pie no not pie is it peach cobbler is not a pie is it it's not a pie peach cobbler anyway it's a cobbler oh my god i don't know i don't bake who cares nadine's making ice cream <laughs> with the ice cream machine y'all It must be good for me. This is the same company that we use for our boiled eggs. And then my crazy neighbors get up there tearing up the house for me. Tearing it up. They don't make company. And look at all my clothes that I washed today.
It's getting thick, y'all. Look how good that look. I'm so excited. Okay, they did baby ice cream. It's so cold, y'all. She put chocolate in there. She put sprinkles. It's peach ice cream. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Mmm. But I feel like it's more of a slushy. Mmm. But it's creamy. I feel like she's going to get better at it. Mmm. I feel like a nice dessert. It's real good though. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I'm kicking crab claws tonight. I don't know. Y'all know I can barely see it, so I don't know if my camera blurry or not. But yeah, I'm cooking crab claws. I'm put them in the fire as soon as the grease heat up. day today I checked my email just to see if I had got an, an update response from yesterday even though they responded back so fast I started thinking like I got the person's name um I gotta look at my email and I'll tell y'all the person name who responded to me but I was thinking like because she had just sent me one of those uh, nice those nice keep you calm letters you know what I'm saying like one of them nice letters where you know, they just letting you know that they got your email, you know, and then you don't hear nothing else for months and months and months and months and months. I'm just hoping that it's not one of them that is that their letter to me is actually uh, freaking legit. Okay. My hair is still tight wet from yesterday. I'm just going to um, brush it out a little bit because I'm still going to put in a ponytail, but I don't want it so, so wet. So when I put the moisturizer in it it takes the curls and look a little bit like less dry now, i definitely have dry looking here even when it's not dry even when it's wet it just seems to look really really dry and y'all know that i'm coming from a place where uh, my hair was so beautiful and they didn't took care of my hair for years i didn't go start going natural until i was bedridden and i couldn't get out of bed anymore and my daughter nadine you know to bring me comfort she started doing my hair you know mess around my hair but then i noticed that nadine has growing hands so my hair got so big so beautiful and it was so gorgeous from nadine taking care of it you know so you know i started really enjoying being natural but what happened was you know my oldest daughter came to visit me and she realized how into my hair I was. And she uh, went back home. She told me that she had a huge box that she was going to send me. And it had all these hair products in it. And that she never opened. She never used. But when I got the hair products, the products was actually all of them was open. But I was so excited that they was barely used. Now, my daughter Nadine told me right away. I don't use none of it because I know, you know, how, you know, uh, my sister moved. And I know what she done in the past. And it's just a trust thing. And my daughter said, Mom, don't use none of that stuff. She said, promise me you won't use none of that stuff. And see, I'm the type of person, I see a bunch of hair products. I didn't have to pay for it. It's so many products that I always wanted to use that might have been so expensive at the time. I was so excited about it. So my daughter went to work. Child, child. I was looking through the box. And I was talking to my daughter, my, my oldest daughter. She called me again. She said, Mom, did you use the product yet? I said, oh, I'm going to do my hair today. And she said, make sure you use this specific product. That product is so good. It made my hair so lay down. It made my hair feel good. She told me what to use. So I took it out the box and I used it. But as I was, my daughter had came home from work and she was resting because she was tired. 
her, um, you know, she worked hard, Nadine. So I told Nadine I'm gonna go ahead and shower. I didn't tell her um, that I was gonna use the product. I, I told her that my daughter called, my oldest daughter called, and that she told me to use the product. And Nadine was like, Ma, I told you not to use the product. I said, okay, I'm just gonna use a little bit. Nadine said, okay, okay. So the outfit's in the shower, y'all. I put the product all in my hair. Uh, I'm thinking it's deep condition. My hair laid down so good. I was like, oh my God, this is nice. My hair ain't never laid down so good. My hair get really curly, and you could feel the curls even in the water, you know. And, and it laid down like it was straight. And I was like, oh my God, my hair ain't never laid down like this. This stuff is good. Girl, child, next thing you know, my hair was running down my back, running down my legs. And you know it feel creepy when your hair start coming out and running down through the water. I'm looking down, I'm seeing all my hair just flowing down to the sink in cloths. I start washing this stuff out my hair, washing this stuff out my hair. And I went crying to Nadine, screaming. And Nadine said, oh my God. Nadine was so upset. She said, Mom, I told you. I told you not to trust it. I told you not to do it. But see, I believe that the, the box was really intended for Nadine because Nadine have such beautiful black girl power here. She got that beautiful hair that and it's so thick and so gorgeous and she never been without hair in her life. So I believe that the box was intended for her because she really put pressure on us um, to use the product in the box. And Nadine said, I told you, mom, I told you how she moved. I told you I didn't trust it. I don't know why you put in your hair. So then Nadine was upset with me. I was crying and then I said, okay. I said, you know what? She got me. She got me. It's only here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just let my hair fall out. And then what I'm going to do is start growing it from there once it all come out. And once it all finished, once whatever's going to fall out, finish falling out, I started uh, taking care of my hair from there. And this is the results. My hair got so short. It was so bad. This is the... The second time my hair been taken out, the first time it was from my niece, you know, and then the second time it was from, you know, my daughter. She took, she, she caused my hair to come out with the stuff that she sent me. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy and satisfied with my hair regardless of what it looked like. It's my hair, it's on my head. When I want to do it, I do it, and when I don't, I don't. It's the way it is, yeah, yeah. Some things will never change. Child, I'm so blah about today. I wish I could say I'm excited, but it's I woke up to it thundering and storming. I didn't even think that I would be able to, you know, do anything today. I thought I was just gonna probably have to stay in the bed because it was thundering so loud and storming so crazy. Okay, so that's good enough. Okay, it feels dry now. I like this little thing here. Um, it gets hot. It gets oh, it get really, really hot. But I keep it on the lowest temperature possible just to, you know, get my hair to dry. So I used this soft bristle brush yesterday to detangle it, and it barely, barely no hair came pulling out my hair at all. And and my hair is kinky, so when I brush it, it's gonna sound a little kinky when you brush it with the brush. You know what I'm saying? And no matter what brush I use, you're gonna hear the kinks because I have kinky hair. Um, that is not a surprise. Um, that is just known, you know. Uh, then I found my other brush this morning. So I'm, I'm up here just brushing my hair. I'm going to put in another ponytail. I got so much shrinkage, which I'm okay with that because I'm not really trying to be too cute with my hair. I just want it in a ponytail because I want to dye it. I want to dye it and I want to put it under wraps for like three months, not messing with it, just dye it, put it in two braids and let it stay underneath the wig cap. But I can't get no more wig, uh, can't put my wigs on right now until I get my glue gun. I'm going to get it from the store specifically because the, the glue, the glue, the glue, it works so good. Child, I was in the room one night begging Nadine to help me get the dag on wig cap and wig off my freaking head. And then I was so irritated, my anxiety started up. I ended up pulling it off my head and it took a piece of chunk out. It's not that bad. It's like right here. <laughs> yeah, I said, oh no, I'm not messing with you. I'll be walking around here with no edges, looking like a two-way street. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. I said, I'm not messing with that. I'm definitely going to have to uh, use the spray. The glue is not, not for me. The glue is definitely not for me. And, and especially when 
it's time for me to go to bed and now I'm irritated because my wig won't come off. With the glue gun, you could you could ease it, ease it real soft and it comes off. Cause I don't put it down to stay for two weeks at a time. And I'm definitely a type of person when I get sleepy, my hair itch, I like to get to it. All that pattern don't work for me. I'm not dating, but even when I'm dating, I let a person know quick, okay, I'm just a wig. <laughs> just a wig, okay? If I got a wig on, and, and and when I start dating, I like to make sure I switch it up often. Like I'll wear my wig one day, wear my natural hair the next. Because I don't want the person that I'm dating thinking that my wig on my head is my hair. My wig is for fashion. It's an accessory like an earring, honey. <laughs> it's conveniency. It's laziness, you know. And, uh, and when it's not laziness, it's because I just like it. I love it. I love wigs. I'm a wig person. And I love my natural hair when I feel like dealing with it, you know. It's something you have to give your natural hair love and time. Once I wash it, condition it, and braid it, I'm done with it for a couple of weeks. Until I'm ready to mess with it again. You know. I love this jam that I'm using. Now, I used this yesterday. I used this yesterday in a video. And... I'm using it again today, and guess what? My hair's not flaky. My hair's not, you know, dusty with all this stuff falling from it. So I love this stuff. This stuff is definitely a lifesaver. And you know, I, I ran into this stuff because of a spirit of light. <laughs> yep, the spirit of light. Her hair was so freaking pretty, so gorgeous. Uh, I saw her in DMV. Her hair was so gorgeous, and she told me where to get it from. She told me that. It was cheap too, and that it works. Her hair was gorgeous. And she used it literally to really make her hair nice and curly and beautiful. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get some of that. So I like the stuff. She definitely gave me some good advice when it came to the stuff. Now yesterday I did my ponytail on camera, y'all. And then, I don't know, I just didn't have the strength or the the patience to try to get that thing straight. And on the day I'm going to do the same thing, I'm just going to put my hand in a ponytail. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yep. <laughs> I used to not like to wear a ponytail because I look like my head is so little, look like a peanut. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. And on camera, my face looked real big and stuff, but in person, my face and my head is little. It really is. Oh, Nadine, they're cooking, y'all. That means I'm getting ready to eat. It smells so good. It smells like she's cooking something with garlic. All right, my ponytail is done. Okay, Spirit of Lights, I'm going to start my day. And I will see you later. I don't want to say see you in the next video because I always just turn on the vlog camera whenever I got time. I love you guys. Thank you so much, all my Spirit of Lights who supported my GoFundMe. I got so many sweet... Uh, comments or some people say spirit I love you so much I'm so sorry I can't support you so don't worry uh, if you can't support my GoFundMe you know if you do I appreciate it if you can't it's okay because even just being a spirit of light is a, a form of support being a part of the community being a part of the team is a form of support thank you so much I appreciate you period yes hi spirit of lights hey y'all I'm on my way to Baskin and Robbins, and I'm on my way to go get some water for the house. I'm going to try to get a couple of things of water. Um, and then tomorrow I'll probably go and um, shop for the house. Get some stuff that I need. So, let me tell y'all where I'm at real quick. So, I just want to keep y'all updated because I know, like, my life is a, a life journey. And y'all on this journey with me, and that's for my spirit of lights. <laughs> exclude you salty butter yes <laughs> we got a salty butter who doesn't like the fact that I share my life with my spirit lights and that I talk about my experiences and doesn't like the fact that I do ASMR plus vlog plus talk about my life they just complain about everything about me so uh don't worry, salty butty. I, I, oh, salty butty. <laughs> oh, Lord. Salty, salty butter. I heard, blocked, and deleted your tail. Bye, honey. Bye. Now, 
let me tell y'all where I'm at okay so I talked to corporate yesterday today is Sunday which was Saturday and they confirmed that they received all, all my videos and they also confirmed that um, they receive um, the emails the harassment emails from uh, the employees that were at that corporate Christie oh no 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 not corporate Christie corporate crispy corporate crispy Dunkin Donuts <laughs> and then and the reason why I'm saying corporate crispy one I think I did make a mistake and said corporate crispy the first time but now that's a new nickname for them because first of all I don't like how I was treated by the manager I just feel like the manager just had no consideration she was disrespectful did she was disrespectful she was a liar she had no empathy for her customers and she definitely definitely do not respect or like Dunkin Donuts because if she did she liked her job she would not treat people like that and I believe she don't treat people like that over and over and to my special spirit of life that's in Corpus Christi oh excuse me <laughs> that's in Corpus Christi child uh, I'm so sorry you go through that and that's your only Dunkin Donuts um I went and tried to find another Dunkin Donuts. I did get a comment. Someone said, just leave. Just go to another Dunkin Donuts. So I'm supposed to just let Dunkin Donuts have my money. I'm just supposed to pay for my food and have them give me what they want to give me and me not be satisfied and go to another Dunkin Donuts. One, I'm glad I didn't find the other Dunkin Donuts. Two, I'm going to tell you why. Because they are independently owned. And I would have hate to have gone all the way to another Dunkin' Donuts. And they would have told me I would have had to go back to that Dunkin' Donuts. And then corporate confirmed that I was supposed to get a refund. Because they have no access to the independent registers. So, no. No, there's no going to another Dunkin' Donuts. I just really, truly want my refund and I want an apology for the way I've been treated and so on and so on so on so on so on so on <laughs> but yeah that's where I'm at y'all so let me go ahead and get on the road and I will talk to you in a little bit I am at Whole Foods right now Nadine's gonna go try to find sugar-free ice cream we took the Baskin Robbins ice cream waffle cones and put them in the refrigerator what she didn't like about the the ice cream was that it it wasn't all the way sugar free it was reduced sugar but um it tastes really really good so i'm going to do an asmr video on it at least it's reduced sugar so now she's at whole foods and she's going to look for me some sugar free ice cream because that's one of my comfort foods besides coffee okay now i'm gonna say comfort foods i should say coffee um, not coffee i should say I cannot get this coffee thing off my mind. I should say comfort things. Because I have a lot of comfort things that I love. And ice cream is just really, really one of them. Now, I am going to be talking about this Dunkin' Donuts thing for a while until it is resolved. Because i definitely going to take you on my journey with me. So if you don't want to hear me like really talk about it, then don't watch the vlog. And don't watch none of the ASMR videos right now because Spirit definitely is going to tell you her feelings, you know. And my Spirit of Lights definitely want to know because they know I tell them everything and I don't leave nothing out, okay. Now, I want to talk about this, this, this particular incident, okay. This particular incident after the manager jumped on the intercom and just basically in my opinion it was it was kind of rude because she was very short you can hear it in her voice she was very short um basically it just felt like she was saying look this is what we got and you know and 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 every time um dream would agree on something she'll say well we don't have that so you know basically he was just like okay well okay just give me what you got wait a minute they got a close-up parking space hold on yay I got to turn the truck on. I can't go nowhere. 
that way and they didn't come right out she don't have to do much walking yay oh i like that jeep that's a nice jeep right there they got all the doors all but i want to tell you my mindset my thinking and my perception before everything went completely left everything went completely left now I was kind of giggling every time she said they didn't have something because I felt like dreams should have waited till we got to the beach meaning they didn't wait all freaking day long before we could eat anything and we were starving we were starving but we wanted to do this beach grill so badly that he wanted us to do too so we was thinking like why are you buying Dunkin Donuts food when we have food that we need to cook we brought all the way from Houston so every time she basically said she didn't have something I, I laughed I was like oh well I would think, I thought dream was gonna be like okay well never mind he'll just get him a, a iced coffee or something like that and he'll be eating with us now this is what happened when we proceeded to drove out drove off now I turned off the camera because I wasn't thinking about, you know, Dunkin' Donuts manager or Dunkin' Donuts employees. I wasn't thinking about them on that terms. It was, it was about capturing our moments, my family moments. And when we got up to the window, the young lady with the glasses, she was so cute. Um, she was at the window and my son said to her, thank you. For being so sweet and so kind to me i appreciate it i like you much better the manager is mean she was very mean to me and i just i felt like she was short and basically she just wasn't going to give me what i wanted but at least you was kind enough to tell me you know what i can get and the girl said oh you're welcome next thing you know in my opinion the manager basically pushed her out the way and was just her body was whole little body was all at the window and she was just going back and forth with dream going back and forth and dream was telling her look i was just saying that the way that you talking to me, the way that you making me feel while I'm ordering is mean. And they was going back and forth. And I was saying to myself, look, I just want my coffee. I said, look, can you just give him what he asked for? And can you please make sure I have a stir? And y'all, I didn't think nothing of it. I ain't think nothing of this statement. She's just like, oh, sure. We're going to stir it up real good for you. This is what the manager said. I didn't think that of it. I didn't think she was going to take it out on me. I didn't think she was going to take it out on Dream. I really, truly believe in my heart because of everything that transpired after that, that she completely messed up our order. And, I don't, you know, you don't want to say somebody messed your food on purpose. You really don't want to say that. And you don't want to believe that. I didn't want to believe that. And right before we got to the window, I was telling Dream, look, Dream. I know she was short, you know, coming and everything, but just try to stay calm. She probably having a bad day. You know how it is. A person could be just not feeling good. She's a female. She could have a period. I'm going to say could have a period because not every female has a period, you know, and, you know, or maybe, you know, her, you know, that day just got on her nerve. Maybe she just aggravated. I don't know what her problem was, but look. Just get your food and that's it. But I'm going to tell you what happened. Like I said, Dream started being nice to the girl and the, the manager couldn't take it. She couldn't take that Dream and her was kiki was smiling and she was smiling at him. He was smiling at her, not in a flirting way, but in the fact that it, it was kind of funny how mean the manager was. But then the girl was so sweet and so nice. And I thought she was sweet and nice until the second time around. And I found out that she wasn't. She's the same girl that was saying at the intercom, oh, the green drinks taste like grass and smell like grass. And I was like, oh, because I, you know, I, I, I don't feel, I don't feel that way about, you know, the green drinks. I, I never had, I had never had that, probably that particular drink because it's probably, um, coffee so maybe she's right I don't know but I have had a, a like a green macchiato or something like that and it was really good it was really good so my perspective my perception 
of the manager was she was just probably having a bad day until we got to the window. And that's why I turned back on the camera and was like, well, Dream was right. She is mean. Child. She went back and forth with Dream as if they was in a lover's coral. What's that word? Uh, as if they was in a lover's coral. They went back and forth. And Dream was like, look, you don't have to be like that. And see, Dream is very charismatic very suave very sweet he was like look okay you look you ain't gotta be like that it's okay it's okay i just want my i just i just don't want no meat okay i just don't want no meat and whatever you give me as far as like the bagel you say you have i'm okay with that you know and then she said could josh could y'all just move up uh, move up move up and 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 they'll bring your order out to you and i said no can we just stay here because look you being a little bit mean and at this point i just want to get my coffee and i want to go she was like dream was like look mom it's okay we're gonna move up because they're on a timer they're on a timer i didn't know who knew i didn't know now i worked for dunkin donuts before a long time ago now i'm i'm 50. i could say i'm 50 because i'm going to be 50 in a few days and i'm very proud to be 50 and i thank god that i'm here because i'm not supposed to be here Okay, not supposed to be here. I know God has spared my life. Now, when I worked for Dunkin' Donuts, y'all, I was still in my teens. I was in my teens. I was working for them when we was actually making the donuts to put them in the the. We had these big swear like look like big sinks, but they was like cookers, and you could see the donuts floating around cooking. That's when I worked for Dunkin' Donuts, you know, and whenever I have ever worked. Customer service is so important. Regardless of what's going on, at the end of the day, the customer is right. I'm going to tell you how this should have went. It should have went like this after everything that happened. After everything that happened, it should have been. When, I, when we came back to the window and told them that it had meat in the, the sandwich and that the coffee had coffee grinds in it, it should have went like this. I'm sorry, ma'am. What is it that you want us to do? Can you replace my coffee and can you give him a sandwich without meat? It should have just went like that. But it still was like the, the meanness and the confrontational and the anger and the laughing and the giggling um, that they were doing made me uncomfortable. I felt uncomfortable. I was like, oh, God. And I said, you know what? Tell her, give me a refund. And she said, no, we would have to go to corporate to get a refund. And I thought that was really strange. And then I find out. And confirmed by corporate that they have no control over the registers. I was supposed to get my refund when I asked for it at that particular store. And when I asked for a refund, it should have been, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry that you was an unsatisfied customer, but here's your refund. I, um, I, I want my food replaced. I'm sorry that we have to replace your food, but we're going to replace it with no problem. I apologize that you were un unsatisfied. You know, it should have went something like that. It shouldn't have went as far as it is today. And let me tell you where I'm at as far as my mindset. Right now, I'm not upset with Dunkin' Donuts. I am upset with Dunkin' Donuts employee and a manager inside of Corpus Christi. AKA crispy. That's who I'm upset with because I feel like maybe the uh, maybe the owner don't know. Maybe the owner don't know how how bad that the management or the management is allowing the employees to be rude and disrespectful to their customers. And and the man and, and actually they following the manager. They're following the manager because when you got a good manager, you're gonna have good employees too. You really are. And if you don't, you nip that in the bud right then and there. But I don't blame Dunkin' Donuts. At first, I was upset with like, oh, it's dun, 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 dun. No, because I found out that they're independently owned. There are franchises. But one bad apple can spoil you the whole bunch. The one bad apple can spoil you the whole bunch because now, even though I haven't had no problem, thank God.
Thank God for Houston and thank God for Virginia. You know, those are the two places that I've always been going to Dunkin' Donuts. And thank God for the Dunkin' Donuts in New Jersey. I've never been treated. Never been treated like I've been treated in, in Corpus Christi, Texas. I've never been treated that badly. But my mindset is that it rose up into bad management. And now I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen. I can't believe I haven't still gotten a refund. I'm shocked. I can't believe it. I still haven't got it. I still haven't heard from um, the franchise. The, the corporate told me that they give them two days to respond to me. So I still haven't heard nothing from them. So we'll see. We'll see. But other than that, I'm not mad with Dunkin' Donuts per se. Bad that people have been given bad service. And all of those comments and messages that were left of how bad they've been treated by that particular Dunkin' Donuts. That's, that just doesn't make sense. It's wrong on so many levels. So, check this out. I put some coconut oil in the pan. And we're making plant-based pepperoni sandwiches tonight. It looks good. We got it from Whole Foods. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Probably can't see it too clear because I already put it in the bag. What to make? Why do they have these two bags in there? Oh, Lord. You know what? Nadine wrapped it up in the bag. I went behind her and put it in another bag. <laughs> you can see a little bit more clear in the first bag. So it says Italian style. Okay, this is the sandwich. You got your gluten-free bread. The lettuce, the onion, and I'll turn around so you can see the pepperoni. Is this the pepperoni? Right here. Nadine tore hers up. She had no mercy on it. About to eat mine with my cold water. Now I'm gonna watch the vlog before I release it. See you in the morning. It's been a long day, and you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to fill out a day. We can tangle it away.